What a season that was, LaMelo Ball leading the eight-seeded Knicks to the NBA championship. But let me tell you, if you thought that season was lit, season two is going to be even better, man. We are making a lot of spicy changes. This episode right here is going to be filled with a lot of things. Before anything, though, I did say in the previous episode we're, we were going to use 15,000 of our experience points to change some animations for LaMelo Ball, change his go-to dunk package, maybe a couple more dunk packages, his dribble moves as well. So with that 15k, we're going to change three dunk packages, the first three that he does. And we're also going to change his dribble moves if need be. I'm pretty sure these are pretty good though. I'm kind of comfortable with these, but we'll see. So his layup package is Kyrie Irving. It's been Kyrie Irving. I don't think I have to change anything. I already looked through all these, man. And Kyrie Irving, I feel, is the perfect one for LaMelo. It's so acrobatic. The airtime, these finishes are just great. I like this layup package right here. But his go-to dunk package is big. It's been cock back tomahawks. Let's change that. We could change it to whatever we want. We do have his driving dunk to 190. So let's see. I, I'm going to look through these real quick and see which one's the most entertaining, the most emphatic slam here. <laughs> I'm looking at cradle dunks. You know, this one's gray and all, but like, I don't know, man. I don't really feel like this is LaMelo. Oh, my battery's low. Jordan Kilgannon always has the most entertaining dunks. 360. Oh, my gosh, bro. Is this even realistic, bro? Should I just put on the Jordan Kilgannon, man? These are the most entertaining dunks ever. Guys, I'm just going to put on the Jordan Kilgannon. It is the most entertaining one. If you guys want me to change it, though, let me know in the comment section down below. So these will be his go-to dunks. These are going to be crazy. Probably, so, probably going to be easy to block, though, but we'll see how it works. All right, dunk package number two. I might just give him the Zach Levine, man. Zach Levine has some crazy dunks. Or the LeBron James. I think I'm going to make LeBron James dunk package three and Zach Levine dunk package two. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so there are the three dunk packages that we changed. Time, if you guys want me to change it, let me know in the comment section down below. It's time to go to ball handling and change some of his dribble moves. I did post on my community tab and ask some of you guys that play park for like some cheesy dribble moves. I was told Pro 3 moving hezzy. It was regularly on Pro 2. Pro 3, I'm not seeing much of a difference, but I'll put it on Pro 3. I'm going to try it out. Right now, his dribble style is on Kyrie Irving. Someone said to put it on base. So these are the base dribble move animations. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'm going to stick with the Kyrie Irving. Now, size up could get interesting. Someone said Allen Iverson. And Iverson, yeah, his size ups were crazy, bro. But someone also said to do Kobe Bryant. This one, obviously, a signature one. We all know Kobe Bryant's size up. It's between Kobe and AI. I do like AI's, though. AI's goes great. I'm going to do Allen Iverson for right now. And, yeah, this is what we spent 15K experience points on, his animations, and it was well spent. There are still some spicy things in store for this episode, so stay tuned for that. But we do have to advance season and see what this offseason is going to shape up to be. There are so many free agents. This league is going to be completely different. Let's see what happens in this offseason. Player retirements. Let's see who has retired from the league. Vince Carter, 44 years of age, is gone. Andre Godala, Trevor Ariza, J.R. Smith, Rajon Rondo, Jeff Green, Nick Young... Look at all these players retiring. Justin Holiday, Dwayne Bacon retired. He's only 25. Carson Edwards retired at age 23. What is this? Why are these players retiring? And that's pretty much all of the notables. Hall of Fame inductees. Obviously, Vince Carter. What a career this man has had. All right, here's the draft lottery. Are, do we have any picks? Nah, we don't have any picks. The Pelicans have the number one pick via Cleveland, though. Hornets, Thunder. Okay, let's see who wins the lottery. Let's just skip ahead. The Pelicans have the number one pick. They had a top three pick last year, too. The Thunder have the second overall pick. That team could be scary. All right, the NBA draft. We don't really have a good pick. But let's see who the number one overall pick to the Pelicans. Jalen Johnson from Duke. Obviously, this guy's a stud. Let's see who the Thunder pick up. With the second overall pick, though, this man averaged 28.6 per game. All right, the Thunder are on the clock, and they select Cade Cunningham out of Oklahoma State. This guy is also a bucket. Let's just do top three. Let's see who the Phoenix Suns select with the top three pick, Jalen Green. Okay, yeah, makes sense. And there are your top three picks of the draft. 
Here are the draft results. If you are curious, you could just look through real quick. I'm a I know some people like seeing the draft. So this is how the draft results went. That was the first round. And this is the second round right here. Mark Williams. And you got all these other players. If you were curious. Wait, that, is that Sharif O'Neal? Sharif O'Neal went in the second round. And the last pick of the draft. Matthew Hur out of Duke. This man's a bucket though. All right, here we are in the new season, season two of this series, the 2021-2022 NBA season. Let's take a look at the Knicks roster and see what changes have been made. So, of course, you got LaMelo Ball, Mitchell Robinson, Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, Kip Mitchell. Why is, why is his morale uneasy? Bro, we're just coming off an NBA championship as the eighth seed and your morale is still uneasy? We brought you back on a team option. What? Dude, I don't get it. I don't get it, Mitch. What's good? But yeah, Kevin Knox, Kelly Oubre Jr., a new addition to the New York Knicks. All the CPU. Kelly Oubre, a member of the Knicks now. Jermichael Green, Bobby Portis, Marquise Chris, Trier, healthy Trier. Moody, a new pickup. It's back on the Knicks, Damian Lee. It's pretty much all the notables, but there is one man that deserves his own introduction. Welcome to the team, LiAngelo Ball. That's right, LaMelo and his brother LiAngelo teaming up together on the New York Knicks, looking to go on a repeat. A lot of you guys were asking for this, and it has finally happened. LiAngelo Ball and LaMelo are on the same team. But that is not it, ladies and gentlemen. This is not it. You guys have been asking for this before even this series began. You guys wanted this to happen in episode one. But now it has happened. Here it is. My 99 overall taco fall is now in the same save file. You guys have been asking for this. It has now happened. Taco fall. The 99 overall taco fall, which I did a series 77 episodes of. If you want to check that out, the link will be in the description. 77 episodes led up to a 99 overall taco fall. And now he is in the same save file for season two of this series. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, the rosters that made major changes in the offseason. The 76ers didn't make any major changes. They got Sarge back, but they got JaVale McGee too. The Chicago Bulls acquired Victor Oladipo and Cole. Oh, okay, that's Cole. I thought that was Carmelo Anthony. But they also have DeMarcus. Look at this Bulls team. Depot and Levine teaming up with Wendell Carter, Markin, and Cole Anthony. And Boogie Cousins. Okay, this is a solid Bulls team right here. The Cavaliers acquired Jonathan Isaac. That's pretty solid. Uh-oh, I'm on the Clippers roster and there's no sign of Kawhi Leonard. Where did Kawhi Leonard end up? The Hornets have an 83 overall Bull Bull with an 8. This is a great young team right here. Look at the Hornets, bro. They also have Carmelo Anthony. Kawhi Leonard has joined the Utah Jazz with Donovan Mitchell, Bogdanovich, Nerlens Noel. No sign of Rudy Gobert, so I wonder where he went. But they also have Michael Carter-Williams. Kind of interesting, Kawhi joining the Jazz. The Lakers acquired Spencer Dinwiddie, in which they were rumored to in real life before the trade deadline. So that's interesting. Also have Rodney Hood. So you, got, you still got LeBron, AD, and a supporting cast. The Magic acquired Derrick Rose, so that's a nice pickup for them. And of course, the Mavericks have a 99 overall taco fall with a 98 overall Luka Doncic and Porzingis. This big three might rule the league. Rudy Gobert left the Jazz to join the Pacers. We already have a nice young center, but I don't know, man. That's an interesting decision from Rudy Gobert. This young Pelicans team who had the number one pick once again. This is the youngest team in the league. This is without a doubt the league with the most potential. Ingram, Zion, Anthony Edwards, Lonzo Ball, Jackson Hayes, Drew Holiday, Daniel Tice now, Otto Porter. Who was the number one pick? Oh yeah, Jalen Johnson too. The Raptors picked up Hassan Whiteside and Aaron Baines along with Justice Winslow as well. Hold up, wait a minute. The Rockets, the team that we beat in the finals. Joe Harris joins them. Joe Harris, former Nick, he literally got finals minutes. He left our team to join the Rockets. Wow, what a snake. Joe Harris is such a snake. Okay, this is an interesting roster. The Suns have Markel Fultz and Mike Conley. 
They have Jalen Green too because of the top three pick. They have Draymond Green as well. Okay, interesting squad right there. And yeah, it's pretty much all the notable changes that happened in the off season. But I still got one more thing to show you guys. We've been playing on Hall of Fame the entire series, but those of you that watched my Taco Fall series know that we upped the difficulty. Yeah, we upped it from Hall of Fame to Legendary difficulty. What the difference is though, we changed the shot success for the CPU from 55, which is what it is on Hall of Fame, to 60. We change it to 60. It's way higher than Hall of Fame. And as for the user, this is the Hall of Fame sliders for the user. We change our shot success to become even lower. We change it to a 42. And this makes things even more difficult and challenging. It makes us take smarter shots and just makes us play harder because it was a little bit easy in the previous season, not gonna lie. But this makes things more interesting and harder. But let me know if you want me to change it back. I'm always, I'm all ears. So that's pretty much it. It's time to play the first game of the season. And look who it is against. It's an NBA Finals rematch to start the season. Knicks versus Rockets in Madison Square Garden. We're going to get our championship rings against this team. And we're facing the snake, Joe Harris. Take a look at our starting lineup. LaMelo and LiAngelo in the backcourt with newly acquired Kelly Oubre Jr. in the starting small forward spot over Kevin Knox. So that's an interesting decision. We still got Randall. And we still got the unsatisfied Mitchell Robinson. What do I have to do to satisfy this man? I don't even know. But guys, remember, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You might be unsubscribed and not even know it. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn on that bell. You won't miss out on future episodes of the series. Remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy as well. 1,500 likes is the goal. And here we are. Time to do the comment of the previous episode. Nobody. Flight. Look at LaMelo, man. Such a legend. We've been getting some flight memes lately. But yeah, thank you for that comment. If you want me to comment of this episode right here, comment something funny down below. If it's funny enough, you get pinned and featured in the next video. But here we go. NBA Finals rematch in the first game of the season. We're getting our championship reigns, and the Rockets have to witness that. So here we go. First game on legendary difficulty of season two. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. Here we go. Game one of the new season. An NBA Finals rematch on legendary difficulty. Let's see what happens. Let's see if my big man got better over the offseason. We do got a mismatch already. I am so excited to see what Randall does in the post. What did you work on this offseason, Randall? Okay, you didn't work on anything, I see. Wow, we're running a double screen already. Too bad Westbrook did not get caught on any of them. Beautiful teardropper right there. That should go in. Dude, floaters in this game are broken. Good putback by Mitch. We even upgraded teardropper, too. How did we miss that? Give me that block. Great defense on Westbrook still, and we are outrunning everybody. New dunk package. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Double screen. Westbrook caught on a deep three. Can we still green with this new difficulty? Of course we can. Good release. Look at their big men go to work. Yep, that's not going to happen. Okay, man, that's going to happen a couple times. This didn't really, They didn't really make that much in the Taco Fall series, but like... 
Good defense, 75% contested, get the board. That was a good jump. LiAngelo with the ball. Is he going to take it all the way past Capella? And misses the layup. All right, let's run a three-point play for my boy LiAngelo. He is wide open off of the play. He greened it. My first assist from LiAngelo. It's a deep two. Oh, my gosh. All right, this might be a little extreme. Jeez. Look who's on the court. Joe Harris is on the court. Mitch with the beautiful screen. Mitch, go all the way. Great contest, man. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is a little extreme. I might have to tone it down in the next episode because he just made that. Clemens is on us. Let's do a little drop step. We got space in the paint. Ray know Lamelo could work that post, especially on Clemens. Look at Joe Harris bringing the ball up. Let's foul him hard, bro. Screw Joe Harris. Great contest right there. Yeah, we got to change it, man. We are definitely changing it. RJ, find me. I'm taking this all the way. Back out to RJ. Wide open for three green. The strip on hard and perfectly timed right there. Let's see this dunk package go to work. Okay, that wasn't his go-to, but still a good dunk. Fortis fade again. Good screen. Fortis. We see Knox, though. Open for three. In Joe Harris's face. Bang. We saw about. Okay, yeah. This difficulty might be a little too extreme. Maybe in the talk it wasn't because, like, we were a seven, seven foot demigod. But yeah, I think I'm going to tone it down for the next episode. Cross on Westbrook. Randall in the paint. Give me that steal. Yep, we knew it was going to Westbrook. Let's find Oubre. Newly acquired Oubre for three. Oh no, is he going to sell? Randall rolling. There you go. Finish. Work that pick and roll to perfection. If they make like one more crazy shot, I'm going to change it back to Hall of Fame just for this game. And like tone down the legendary difficulty for the next episode. Leangelo <laughs> pulled that. I didn't even tell him to pull it. Look at Leangelo hitting his shots out there. Do I think three point plays for Leangelo are the wave? If they could set a good dude, Randall, your screens are whack, bro. Look at Leang. Oh, Le <laughs> yo, he put on the moves on hard and low key, but he got blocked. Westbrook on the break though pulls up. We just let him have that. I don't know why. What in the... R.J. Barry got hurt again! He just it just said he le sprained his ankle and is out four to six weeks. This man, R.J. Barrett, so injury prone. He literally played like a couple games in the playoffs and got a ring from it. Now this man's hurt again. I mean, I guess that's perfect for Leangelo Ball, though, as they get caught on the screens and I'm open for three. We sub out again, down 20. All right, man, look at the... Def All right, dude. Look at that deficit. For the rest of this game, we're putting it on Hall of Fame, but next episode, I'm going to adjust it a little bit. No one's stepping up on LaMelo. No one is stepping up on LaMelo. That is the easiest three of his career. Let's push it, man. Leangelo, spot up. Leangelo, pull up for three. Green. Yo, Leangelo is butter. Double screen again. There it is. Wide open. Three. We got to green these. A comeback is like not out the question, but we're going to need a lot of defensive stops. Leangelo spot up for mid-range. Misses. I'm there for the board. Put back LaMelo. Beautiful moves from LaMelo. Why did this man just spot up for three like he could do that? And you're the one that's unsatisfied. Is it because your three attempts are limited? Like, why? Trier's in the game. Haven't played with Trier in a while. Trier, his first shot since the broken nose. And, of course. Oh, Joe, I'm glad you could hit threes for other teams, bro. Joe, you hit a total of, like, three threes for us. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, we sub out again. Decent deficit. And, <laughs> yeah, it's over. 
win. Well, the Rockets the got their revenge after, I mean, they blew a 3-0 lead in the finals. They got the revenge. They spoil our ring night, and yeah, we lose big time. The win here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Well, LaMelo, after coming off an, a Finals MVP award, a 30-point triple-double with five blocks, uh, pretty good shooting, the turnovers look. Where is my next best man, bro? Like, oh, no, let's not do this again. Leangelo Ball, though, in his debut, 10 points. Not the best shooting, though. But, yeah, we did have four double-digit scores. And, yeah, R.J. Barrett out for another month like he was in the playoffs. And we're changing the upgrades. From now on, it's going to be 30-plus in the points category to get that upgrade. So, one, two, three, four. I'm not going to count the 50, 40, 90 because we did not attempt a free throw. We have to at least attempt one. So, yeah, that is four badge upgrades for this performance. We're also going to make some changes in the upgrade system. From now on, we're going to keep it the same for losses and double them for double them for wins. Because not going to lie, LaMelo progressed a little bit too quickly. And I feel, yeah, we got to like tone it down a little bit. So for this game, for example, we did lose. We're going to keep the stats the same. Let's see how much experience points we get. By the way, I really did remove the 15,000 for the animations. I did figure out a way to remove them. So yeah, those are gone. We're left with 7.3K left over plus uh, from what we get this game. Let's see how much we get. And we did lose. We kept the stats the same. 1.6K for that. So we got about 9K in total to spend on attributes. So yeah, it wouldn't hurt to do some of the mental attributes to help him out in the simulation. So let's go do that a little bit. Maybe do it by like 10 for each. So boom right there. Boom right there by 10 reaction time. Do that by 10. Pass perception. Do that. Help him get more steals. Defensive consistency. Do that by 10. Pick and roll defense IQ by 10. Help defense IQ by 10. You know what? Might as well just make all of his mental attributes into a green. Do we have enough for this one? We have a 79. Not quite green, but there is our upgrades. Okay, four badge upgrades. I don't, I don't even know what to upgrade at this point. I mean... Bro, I think some badges upgraded by themselves because of the player progression. Oh, no. I totally forgot about that. I think I could fix it, though. I'm going to just try to remember the ones that weren't Hall of Fame. I I'm going to have to look back and do this on my own. But four badge upgrades, bronze catcher shoot gold, corner specialist gold. They're the upgrades. And, yeah, it's back for you to vote on which game I played in the next episode. That's a tough loss right there. I'm going to tweak the legendary difficulty a little bit. But, yeah, that was the game for the month of October. You guys are going to vote for the next episode for the game for the month of November. And I'm going to say the point guard matchup for each game. Fred Van Vliet and the Heat. Darius Garland and the Cavs. This low-key stacked Bulls team. We're going to be matched up against Cole Anthony. Dinwiddie, LeBron, AD, and the Lakers. We could rematch the Rockets again, but this time in Houston. The not-so-great Clippers anymore after they lost out on Kawhi Leonard, but they still have Paul George, and we're going to be matched up against Pat Bev. Markel Fultz and the Suns. Damian Lillard and the Blazers. DeJounte Murray and the Spurs. John Wall and the Wizards. Trey Young and the Hawks. Or Kyle Lowry and the Raptors. Those are your choices. Comment down which game I should play in the next episode, and the top comment is who I will play. So, yeah. All right, so this was an action-packed episode filled with a lot of different things. Hopefully you still enjoyed it, though. I don't know how long it's going to be, but yeah, RJ Bear, four to six weeks again. Is it the same injury? I don't even know, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Remember, 1,500 likes. Remember to sub if you're new to the channel. Turn on that bell. And yeah, I'm trying to make this season a little bit more challenging because the last one, we won the championship as an eighth seed. I want to make this a little more challenging. We'll see how it goes, but I hope to see you in the next episode. But until then, I'm out.